Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Arms of Iron 4. Kai, Dragon's Romania. Let us continue on from Blast Us Off. So we're now in the second Vilkrieg. Yeah, get these guys to stop doing anything. I want you moving your way straight to Berlin. See if you can accomplish that goal. I want everyone else to strategically redeploy. I'm really hoping that, that Poland should rise up against... Um, should rise up against the Germans. I think that would be really, really uh, beneficial for us. I think you guys can actually hold position. I don't want to be pushing in too much if I can avoid it. Go towards Leipzig. We've already taken Dresden, which is quite nice. Germany is down to 93 already. The thing is, like, I need more units, right? And without more units, we're in a bit of a we're in a bit of a bind. Make you guys go towards Frankfurt. I think two of you go to Heil. I can actually know all of you to stay stay put for a second, okay? I'm gonna have you go towards Berlin. I'm gonna get all of Austria soldiers. They have 14. And Austria is going to be supporting our flank kind of leaning towards Poland. We're going to get you guys. We're going to make you into the yellow army. And you're just going to be from, from here. Okay. You're going to be from here to the border of Poland. And then red army is going to be just basically in Bavaria. But you can move in like this. You can move in here. You can move in like this. You can kill this unit. You guys move in here. You can counter against this guy. Have a fun time that way. Next up, purple army. Move into Berlin. Red army. We're going to shrink your line down like this. And this is not counting against this number. No, it is not. Fantastic. And I guess I can just call in more of my allies to support this front. Go here, you go here, you go up. Might as well just destroy these units. Somehow Russia is losing ground to Ukraine. I don't know how the hell that's possible. Belgium's already dead. Go over to here. Yellow army, maybe it's going to uh, Breslau. Czechoslovakia, how many units do you guys have? 13, fantastic. Guess what? I'm bringing you into... Uh, I'm bringing you into some of these armies. Some of you guys are going to go here. You guys are going to go into purple. You guys figure that out yourself. That's not my job. Red army, delete this attack line because your line now looks more like kind of taking over B B Bavaria. Yellow army is basically just pushed away to the border of Poland. Because, again, I think Poland will revolt. Eventually, I think they would... Um, would back us. I want you all guarding purple. Greece has declared war on Greece. Does that mean... Okay, you got kicked out of the faction. I mean, that's fine, kind of. Like, obviously, I'm not the most happy with it, but... Okay, Flanders Bologna has collapsed. Degraded support. I'm not going to worry about Greece too much. It's like it's a little shitty we won't have their uh, units. But I mean, there are worse things in the world, right? Okay, you guys move in like this. You guys move here. Yellow, move into Breslau. You move in this direction. You guys move on this guy. You declare war on Afghanistan. You know what, man? You do you. Do you. Who am I to tell you no? Get these Germans out of here. I mean, red line is holding. I want you to move just to shrink red line down. Okay, 57 on Munich. How much are you worth? You were 10? Okay, you're going to push in this way. You guys are going to push away into Leipzig like this. You really are just making this too easy for us. We're at 79. We'll even get an encirclement on this... Um, Mountain Union Division, which I'm happy with. You've been encircled. A little bit less happy with that. You're going to counter in this direction. You're going to counter here. You're not in this war, right? 
No, so I'm not worried about the Italian Republic joining the Reich's Pact. At least not yet. It is a possibility, though. And that's something that we cannot uh, forget about. You guys have been encircled. You've been encircled as well. Go towards the border with Poland. Move up, move up. I think that's going to war with Denmark, but I'm not even too sure. Because you're actually still at war with the Reich's Pact as well, which is kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but, like, in a not super funny way, you know? You know those things that are funny, but are more horrible than a, than a laughing matter? Move you up towards this city, please. Germany has pushed in the white line a little bit. I will, I will give them that. I want you in Berlin. I want you here, you here. Actually, you're just going to leave Berlin. So walk in like this. You're going to go like this. You're going to move your way in this direction. Kill what you have left. I think you can move here. We've almost taken Munich as well. We got some, we got some good stuff going on. Okay, Peace Conference. Lithuania has revolted. And I believe... I mean, National Populist Lithuania should end up joining up with the uh, Moscow Accord. Poland, you know you want to join, right? Direction of the Transylvanian Chapters. For the indication of the Chief, the Transylvanian Chapters of the Legionary Movement were generally grouped under regional organizers. Industry. Yeah, give the, give the workers some more stuff. Two are the new chapters. Work with the old guard. I don't want any of you guys right now. We should still be fine on this, um... Like, I'm not worried that there's going to be, like, a, an uprising against us. Like, we should be pretty safe. Being under surveillance. Legionnaire cooperatives. Worker corps. Is there any military stuff we want? Winter... You know what? Winter attrition minus 30% is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Also, we own Berlin. I don't know if anybody's noticed that or not. Germany's already down to 45%. And we've taken Munich as well. Japan has now gone to war with Germany. It's really, it's really just been a bad time to be German, you know? It's just been a really, really, really bad time to be a German. Go up to Hamburg as well. Lithuania joined the Moscow Accord. Just what you love to see. Okay, white army. You're, you're holding on the best you can. I love you for that. Go up towards Kiev. You need this province to actually connect that by rail. Würzburg, Frankfurt. You've got two of the major cities. I, th I think Germany might... They might capitulate this episode. German, Romania declares the Treaty of Bucharest null and void. The end of the first Vilk Krieg, you think... I own Berlin. You think that... I feel like that's a pretty good indicator. The end of the first Vilk Krieg and a devastating treaty imposed upon Romania, the infamous Treaty of Bucharest, with so, uh, which so many political forces in Romania have struggled against until now. After the end of the war, the many PNL cabinets have tried to gradually weaken the treaty with the then-present situation in the country of mind. Albeit it was not seen as enough by the angered and reared populace, contributing to the rise of advantageous uh, populist movements, in a period and culminating in the Iron Guard's ride to power, which continued this process. With the German economic crisis, even more of the treaty's provisions started to be skirted or openly ignored. And now, with the outbreak of the Second Vilk Creek and the powers that have been seen the fit, we finally proclaim the end of the humiliating treaty. Taking advantage of the German distraction, and the president of the Council of uh, Ministers, Cornel Cornio, uh, has formally declared that the treaty is null and void, and that should the Germans want to review, look, <laughs> it doesn't matter, man. They, they, they can't contest us. For the again, I own Berlin. Do they not know this? Berlin is my domain. That's my city. Yeah, go to Nuremberg. Go to here. Have you counter? You are worth one victory point. It's not a ton, but fuck it. Every victory point, I think, I think matters. You move here, you move here. Poisson is worth three. Let's move in that direction as well. I'm going to move two of you in the purple line. 
Kiev has fallen. I don't know how you're not killing this guy, to be honest. I'm a little stunned. Magdeburg's fallen. Go to Hamburg. Germany's down to 40%. Hanover's worth 10. Cassell's worth 3. You're worth 10 over here. I mean, you want to maybe try to go to Frankfurt? See if maybe they can offer you some uh, something these trying times. They might even get the Hamburg before me. Lithuania is doing fine. They're just peacing out, having a good time. They're taking Hamburg. Is that Germany dead? They're at 32%. Again, they, they've changed how Collapse of the Reich's Pact works. Morocco is ended. You know what? Morocco makes perfect sense. I would do the same thing in your shoes. Question on the intelligence service. The legionary movement, already atypical amongst the organizations of its kind, also took a daring step in creating its own intelligence uh, service, the SIMLR. Uh, the Information Services of the Legionary Movement of Romania. Um, radicals gain power. I, th I think but we'll keep this uh, as is. <laughs> Collapse of the... <laughs> if you can kill Austria really early on in... Uh, like, stupidly early on in... Uh, when did the Vilkrieg begin? The Vilkrieg began on March. It's it's been six weeks. I think it's been six weeks since the Vilkrieg began. Move you here. It did take Hamburg, which is a little bit of a shame, but that's okay. Move over in this direction. Okay, Flanders Wallonia. I'm sorry to tell you this, but uh roll S. Transfer ownership to you. I'm a, I'm a little sad we didn't get um, Hamburg for ourselves. Of course, Red Army, uh, Purple Army. You guys just need to start moving in, taking whatever the hell is that you can. It's a, it's a, ra it's a, you know, it's a land grab. I want to take Frankfurt, please. Okay, we lost Frankfurt, but that'll be... Yeah, that, that's them dealt with. Okay, the Commune of France. Frankfurt. I wish I wish city names were on here. Like, I kind of feel like that's what you get. Even Hanover. I think I took Hanover, but... Germany, I'm just going to select all of this. Like, come on. I have, uh, we, we've done very well for ourselves. Like, I'm even being nice by giving up Hanover, to be completely honest with you. Okay. It's now time to reposition our armies. You're going to go to Poland. Red army, you're going to go to Ukraine. Blue army, you're just going to kind of move in this direction. Go as aggressively as you possibly can. Okay, Poland, because Germany's dead, I'm assuming, declares neutrality. That's fine. They've joined the Moscow Accord. I'm not going to give them anything. You can't decide to join the Moscow Accord after the war's already over. That's not how war works. I'm going to put you on the board with the Italian Republic. Legion without purpose. You guys are still having a good time. Release a loyal Prussian. Can I not release? I guess I can't release Germany. Which is a little, a little sad. Who do I want to support in the American Civil War? I guess the American Union is safe. We can send them 2,000 guns. White Ruthenia have ended hostilities. Did they join the International? They did. The, the fucking cowards. Okay, we give me more stability. Did I... You know what I'm thinking of? I'm wondering if we can't do this. We couldn't have done the Green Prince. Because we just won so hard, so fast. 
I think that's entirely a possibility that like we just we just did too well. Give it to Prussia. Give it to Prussia. Look, okay. Poland joined the war after like they joined after Germany already collapsed. They don't like Lithuania, I can give them a mel. Because at least Lithuania joined the war. You know, Lithuania rebelled against Berlin. Poland didn't do shit. Right? Like they didn't they didn't do anything. But I don't, I don't know why they even think that they get a claim to any land. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't make sense. When do you when are you considered completed? When he centralizes his rule? Italy's declared war on the SRI. Georgia's collapsed. Of course, I didn't actually do anything against them, even though we're still in the, um... There we go. And Ukraine shouldn't be lasting. Some others feel very much alive. I guess they probably, probably need to take Sevastopol. Okay, White Army, delete all your orders. Your job is now to surround... You know, White Army goes here. Red Army, delete everything you've done. I'm going to bring you to this border here. Who are we still at war with? Ju just Eastern Europe. Okay. Poland signs a peace with Russia. All of you guys march to Sevastopol. All of you guys march just kind of in here. Just take whatever cities you can on the border. Riga's fallen. I mean, like, you guys aren't meant to last. You're, you're, meant, you're meant to die to, to all of our forces. That's at least the way that I see it. By the way, Anton, did you ever go to war with the Internationale? No, I don't think you even had enough time to. Which I think is kind of saying something. Okay, Ukraine, you do, you do need to give up, though. Like this this is not how this works. Okay, thank you for Sevastopol. How are you not dead? You're seven okay, at midnight tonight you will collapse. I mean I guess we just give everything to Russia, right? But then I you know, I'll I'll sneak a little Odessa in there for myself. Just a little bit of territory for me for doing, you know, a lot of the heavy lifting here. Uh, and now, Red Army's on their way. Uh, do the king under surveillance. Delete your orders just so went round White Ruthenia, essentially. Purple Army. Your new job is to be... Let's just say here. And then aside... Like, are we still at war with you? No. We're not. And then there's gotta be another army not doing anything, right? Because you're here. Three armies here. Okay, no, actually, no, this actually is fine. This seems to basically be exactly where you want things to uh, be right now. But with that, I think this is gonna be a good time for us to end this episode. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now, enjoy, Chloe, thumbs down. If you wanna see more, subscribe and goodbye.